Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a small project. A few days ago I created this little booklet uh, with my Patreons. It was like kind of starting up again on camera because I've been a few days off from my camera uh, because of your amazing orders for my paper pad. Thank you so, so much to everyone who ordered it. That was amazing from you that uh, you support my my uh, channel and my creativity with this one as well. So thank you so, so much. I really hope you will like that paper, but I try to choose uh, really beautiful images. So thank you everyone who get that uh, paper pad from me. And I did create this small little booklet and I did use gorgeous washi tapes from uh, Amity Bloom. Nazi had these stunning uh, washi tapes in her shop i didn't check it today i will go to have a look if she does have the stock back uh, already or if you probably maybe maybe <laughs> will have to wait because they was gone really fast they are so good really good quality and big win or i mean a big amount of washi tape if you will compare it with washi tapes which i have ordered from like from China. <laughs> Look. <laughs> See, so this one, it's nice amount of washi tape. And they are so gorgeous. I did use this one mostly on that booklet. And today I'm going to be using these two mostly. And for that, I also choose uh, some collections which are on sale right now, this weekend only. So go to have a look if you if you would like to get one. I do have uh, on weekend sale these four uh, collections. I'm going to go from the smallest one to biggest one. One are these toppers. There is six images on the sheet. Uh, you can use them as a topper on your notepads or as a tax. Then is this uh, kind of like mini booklet. So this is the base and there is also a video for this one. I will put all links down below. Here is like inside a few labels, mini picture tag, um, the label. <laughs> Here is another another inside for that mini tag, another ephemeras, and this is also together with this mini booklet collection. Then I do have uh, in sales for this weekend this collection. It's called My Favorite Flowers, and I try to do kind of like background papers with these gorgeous flowers this is my total favorite um i forgot the english name but in czech it's uh, kosatets that's my grandpa had them full garden of them many gorgeous gorgeous colors and this and these are background papers which go with that so i hope they are very versatile and useful Come on, and just flubberly and striped, and this one, and then the last one, but the biggest one, like so many papers, <laughs> I've got this butterfly blue, and there is really so many, so many images, and I will use some of these papers today, so that's why I'm showing you uh, from which collections i will get that i think i did print it out twice no i didn't these are different images yes these are different images good so all kind of butterfly ephemeras and then uh, you know in that blue tone postcards and tags so you can use those uh, small embellishments and decorate with them uh, your papers and few advert sheets in blue color so some of these images which i just showed you i will be using today together with amity bloom washi tapes so for today's project i will be using large envelope and as i said in the video before or, or in that talking before uh, i'm gonna be using mostly 
uh, Amity Bloom tapes, washi tapes. And from my stuff, uh, I found uh, these two. They are kind of uh, like nicely complete, you know, that those phones. Here I do have a little bit darker blue. Here I do have very light blue. And the same I try to find in my stuff with the other uh, kind of like brownish. So my envelope uh, is 12 and 3 quarter by 9 inches or in centimeters it's 33 centimeters by 23 centimeters. That's the size for A4 size letter which can fit inside really comfortably. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold that envelope on the long side, on the half. like this and I'm gonna flip it this way to see where is end of the entry to my envelope so I'm gonna flip it over and now I'm gonna fold it half uh, the bottom just to that uh, edge of entry to my envelope and because it's quite a lot of layers already now I'm going to be all the time using my bone folder to burnish that fold to make it nice and beautiful. So now I can open it and I'm going to fold the bottom of my envelope to that fold which I just created to that half. And now I'm going to fold this edge of the entry of my envelope to that middle fold here. So I'm going to kind of match it this way, hold it and fold it. Here I'm keeping an eye on the edges here to make sure they are uh, matching. So that's my three folds which I created. Now um, you can take your scissors and cut from the flap of your envelope to that last fold here. But I'm very bad with scissors so <laughs> I'm gonna take the knife and cut it with the knife. I'm much more better with the knife because it kind of reminds me letter opener. And I did use that quite often. Just be careful if you want to use just the knife. Really be careful. It can hurt you very fast. So I do have it open till here. For that rest. I'm going to try my scissors. But I'm, I'm going to try small ones. <laughs> Maybe it will be better with small ones. And I'm going to cut, uh, not both sides, just here, kind of like only one side of my envelope. I don't want to open it yet, but it's like I'm going to keep this together and I'm going to cut just this top layer. So I'm going to slide my scissors on one side into that envelope and cut here that fold yeah maybe with smaller scissors it's a little bit better so when I fold it I still have that bottom layer together and here I do have opening and right now I'm gonna fold this one here and then this one back and I'm trying to watch that bottom to make sure it will be same matching all those edges and this one here and the edge or that end flap just back I'm gonna flip it over and do exactly the same I'm gonna fold it this way keep an eye on the bottom back and this way 
and back. That's all folding I'm gonna do and I'm gonna open it and where there are uh, these two sides still holding together you have something like this I'm gonna get, uh, add the glue just on the bottom here I'm gonna take my glue and glue this one just here on the bottom so once it's glued here hopefully it's holding now I do have kind of like a um, sleeve here from one side to go to another another side I'm still holding it here on the bottom to make sure it will don't get unglued and I do have kind of like harmonica or accordion with the openings here on the top to make sure that my envelope will don't get creepy because of this I'm gonna be sewing signature here and signature here and also secure this one I'm gonna be sewing signature here and signature here so for that I need to make four signatures and my signatures will be I'm gonna take my centimeter ruler today because the centimeters are much more um, kind of like smaller measurement you know precise so it will be 11 centimeters the high of my signatures and I will take seven and a half I think it will be good to have the papers white so if it will be folded it's seven and a half and seven and a half which means 15 centimeters big paper by 11 yeah so to make my four signatures I picked from my pile of um, different types of papers these I cut this one on, on the smaller parts to 11 here and now I'm gonna fold it them this hopefully will be just exactly I'm gonna try one it's a little bit smaller but it can work so these will be one papers I'm gonna use and I do have exactly four so for each signature I have one of them and as those signatures will be not too bulky I'm gonna try to make them uh, interesting with different uh, types of papers that's why these are here so to make sure I will don't have it too long I'm gonna grab my book put my one side of the paper to the edge of the first page and here I'm gonna fold it just exactly next to that fold here so therefore I know I can fit in it so it will be this way and here I can either cut it off that excess or I can fold it that way so then when it will be with other papers it will be like interest in my signature so I'm gonna keep it there because you know it's like interest so this way I'm gonna continue with other papers too I'm gonna fold them to the size I need so I'm nearly done to prepare my four signatures uh, I also found in my stuff handmade paper So I'm gonna add that paper in there as well you know for the texture and the color because it's so gorgeous so I'm just placing these papers you know it, it kind of mix and match oh here I do have opening on this side so I'm gonna put opening on that side this one and this one from around I guess yeah so I do have my mixed signatures done and they are pretty cute and before I will sew them in look at that I'm gonna take my booklet hey come on and because of the color choice of here I'm gonna use distress ink vintage photo from Ranger and distress all the edges because I think it will match nicely especially with this with this washi tape so I'm gonna be using vintage photo and I'm gonna distress all the edges from both sides so I do have this dress all sides of my little booklet 
And before I will use those washi tapes, I'm gonna have a look to these uh, to these collections. I will probably <laughs> use that butterfly. So from my favorite flowers, I did choose these two background papers because I think they are nicely matching the choice of my uh, washi tapes. And from butterfly blues, I do have more papers, but I'm not gonna probably use all of them. Uh, I do have one of these uh, adverts. This kind of like background paper. And then a few of these ephemeras because uh, I would like to cut out those envelopes, especially of those envelopes, and probably uh, some longer ephemeras uh, to add them in the pockets. And here, what I found, <laughs> it wasn't planned, but they are exactly the size uh, of my mini booklet or mini book. So I'm going to cut out these postcards. And here, this. So from these two papers, I will uh, cut the backgrounds for my pages. I just slide my signatures inside and I'm kind of, um, you know, sneak peek <laughs> how thick it will be. So I do have just those papers put inside, not, not glued yet or not sewn yet. I'm going to cut from these two papers, background papers for my mini book. And before I will do that, I'm going to actually use those uh, washi tapes and do layers here and there. Then I will cut the papers and I will probably sew around of these papers because I like that sewing effect. But if you don't like it, you don't have to do sewing effect, of course. So first that blue. And where is the end? I think somewhere here. I'm just gonna do quick background. Somewhere here. And maybe somewhere here. Like this, just a very soft layer and quite simple one. Nothing too complicated. I'm gonna add one here. And same I'm gonna do here on this paper. And I do have here these, I'm not gonna add them there yet. Uh, I'm gonna take my lace and add there also lace. So for quick editing my lace, I'm gonna use just a glue stick, but then once it's dry, I'm gonna also sew through. I'm gonna let it dry and once it's dry, I'm gonna sew the lace on it as well to make sure it will hold. So I do have my sewing, very quick sewing, just one line through done and I'm gonna cut my pieces on that 11 by seven and a half. So for each side here and here I will create one of these uh, mini background papers. So from those two A4 size papers, I was able to manage uh, always one full size paper and on the other side will be a little bit shorter. So there will be pocket and I can, you know, put them on e either side. So for each of these openings, I do have one large, one small. And it's going same way as the book will go. Here, here, then flip it over and we are going all around again. That will be that, you know, never ending book. It's not brand new and <laughs> it's quite old, old uh, type of books, but I think it's very interesting. So I did manage to 
cut the pieces for each that side and I still have those two kind of like leftovers I do have here uh, my inserts and also cut it on the part these postcards which I would like to add there like flip outs and I think I can start to put it all together but always I will distress the edges and I will use again uh, vintage photos so for the first my opening I'm gonna take them off all and to show you how I will start so my book is this way here I do have that glued page with that tunnel right here so I'm gonna start right here on the first page and I do have here these two images so I'm gonna distress the edges with the walnut stain um, walnut stain sorry vintage photo walnut stain is my this time favorite so <laughs> that is in my head but this one is vintage photo Ranger Distress Ink and I really love how it looks like with those layers uh, I can make so sewing effect also all around of these small pieces but I think I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna glue them down on the page here and here I have to remember that I would like to add there also these postcards on the on the side so before I will glue another one I'm gonna distress one of these postcards from both sides because it will be visible from both sides I'm gonna take this medical paper tape because it's nice and strong and it's very transparent I'm gonna put the glue yeah, I think this way put the glue over the edge of my of my postcard and here I go actually around the edge so I can go this way to that next part around the edge right here and I'm gonna open it and secure it from inside as well to make sure that the postcard will hold nicely so now I do have opening and that uh, tape is glued on the background so now I can glue on the that tape this small small piece and go right there so I do have first opening that background done I'm gonna open that next one and do exactly same I'm gonna take another two images distress them so this time I glued on this side that small one I'm gonna glue the postcard on the edge but here I do have that middle opening where we glued those flaps together on the bottom so I do have this uh, tunnel or sleeve I need to slide that medical tape inside and I think I maybe did that too long I will see so I need to slide it in to make sure I can get into that sleeve this way this way and glue And I still can, can get there in. And I do have beautiful opening. So now I can glue this one here. But I will also secure that postcard from this side just in case. Fold it. Take my bone folder and just to make sure it can be open. 
and I can flip it over and continue with that rest. So I do have uh, one side done and here on the end I had to slide that uh, medical tape inside of the pocket kind of similar way like I did here in that sleeve or tuna. So here I just slide it, that medical tape inside and then uh, here it's that, that postcard. Postcard. So now I'm gonna flip it over. I don't have to put anything here and here just because um, I'm gonna glue it straight away. Do not forget. I'm gonna make a cover, front cover and back cover. So on these two doesn't have to be any background paper because it will be invisible anyway. But when I will open it, I'm gonna continue here on that other side. I do have just these two. So I'm gonna take papers and postcards and do exactly the same. I do have both sides done. So this is the kind of like fist side. Then flip it over and we do have this one. Here is that entry and this. So now I can take each of these signatures and just very easy way to sew them in. So always in the fold here and then in the fold here and same will be from opposite side. In the fold here and in that fold from opposite side. These will be, I do have here, so it will be there. And my mini book getting thicker. So I'm gonna open my signature in the middle. I'm gonna open my first fold. And I do have my mini booklet this way. Here is that gluing part. So my mini booklet is open this way. Here I will have opening of my book. So my first opening, the first signature, I'm gonna place it in that fold and just poke two holes because it's quite small. So I can poke one hole here and another somewhere here. And I'm just gonna go sewn with this simple stitching. Just really very easy way and make a knot and continue with another one and that will be from that opposite side from here. So I'm gonna flip it over, take another signature and do exactly the same. So that way I do have sewn the papers inside of my book. So I do have sewn my signatures inside. You have one here, flip, flip, flip and one here. And from other side I do have one here and one here you will see that uh, how it goes or if you want to see it this way here i do have that middle here is one signature here is one signature sewn into that those folds and here is another one and here is another one sewn into these folds i do have fussy cut out all kinds of these small embellishments and i also fussy cut out these envelopes and already slide them in but i will decorate them as well so i'm gonna take them off uh, i do have that base but uh, and before i will start to add their pockets and some embellishments i'm gonna create cover i did cut out uh, two pieces in the same size as is measurement for my uh, for for this front and for the back uh, page so i've got two chipboards i do have here these adverts 
and I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna use some of them and just wrap the chipboard into this beautiful paper front and back as well so I'm keeping that frame around and I'm gonna glue it down and wrap that paper around my uh, the chipboard I have wrapped both pieces because I like to have kind of like vintage looking Sorry for that shaking. Uh, vintage looking corners. I'm gonna cut the top of it to make them a little bit worn. And I'm gonna, with my nail file, I'm gonna sand the print a little bit down to make it like it was, you know, what? <laughs> and go over the corners. Because for all that journal I have used distress ink, I'm gonna distress the cover as well. This will be back cover and this I will use for front cover and I would like to have the, this ephemera here on the top. I will pop it up a little bit but before I will do so I want to uh, reinforce it a little bit. I did print out all these images on 160 GSM paper which is quite nice and strong but for top decoration it's not enough. So I'm gonna reinforce the butterfly first with the book page gonna pass it out now I'm gonna cut into the or around the wings just here and from opposite side just till here and also from here not totally till the end still it's holding there I'm gonna fussy cut out one more time the oval this now I can cut these sides I do have my both pieces I'm gonna put that butterfly somewhere here hopefully I'm right and I'm gonna glue the 
part where it looks like they're supposed to be. So this one right here. And the other one on the opposite side. Right here. Gonna take this off. So like this, I'm gonna take my distress ink and I'm gonna distress all this small part, all this oval. I'm gonna distress also the butterfly here. So now I can put the glue on this, uh, on this one, on this one, and on the body of the butterfly. So on the body and also on that small part here and that top part here. I want to make sure I will actually place it the right way. This way. Okay. Slide there and there and push these two pieces and the butterfly. Now I'm gonna let it dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna lift up a little bit the wings. And I'm gonna reinforce reinforce it even more because it will be on that top cover. I'm gonna take piece of chipboard I used for that for the cover. I'm gonna add the glue on all this oval. Glue it down. Lift up the wings now and I'm gonna fussy cut out around the oval. Like this, so I'm gonna distress the edge here. So I do have my oval. Uh, I did found this beautiful uh, lace and because it's too white I'm gonna <laughs> use my distress ink and make it darker yeah that's gonna be it so I'm gonna glue this first And right here will go the butterfly. And I found in my stuff this beautiful label, so I will need to find something what I will put in there. So I do have this word relax, and I'm gonna glue it on that lace. So for that, I'm using this multi purpose glue and just place it right here. And instead of brats, I'm gonna punch the holes where they are already now, so I'm gonna just punch it also through the cover. Two, and I will fix their eyelids. And now I can take some cardstock and put a layer which I will use under this oval. For making this image a little bit pop up I'm gonna be using these small off cuts of, of chipboard and I will glue them together. Yeah I think three will be enough and here I will use this glue. So I do have the top cover this is a little bit popped up. I'm gonna take this piece, oh, not yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that now. I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna rip off the small part of book page 
especially you know the edge and I'm just gonna place it all around so it will be peeking out a little bit Somewhere here, so I do have a small layer of book page all around. I need to poke the hole here. Where you are? I do have prepared a little bow made from lace with very long at ends, so I'm gonna try to push it through here and to make sure it will don't move or so I've got here hot glue, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of hot glue underneath and press it. And now I'm gonna push it through here. Oh, here I need to take some tool. I will have decorative ends here at the front with the bow. <clears throat> now I can take a glue, put a glue on full of that front page. And place my cover on that. Here and here, I'm gonna make sure I'm kind of straight with those ends and here and here that I am matching the corners and press it all together. I already did the back cover same way, so now I can let it dry properly. I will put something heavy on it. little little Bible here <laughs> so I'm gonna place it on the top it will nicely press everything together and I already decorated these envelopes I just put a layer of these washi tapes in there then the lace and uh, I saw through with my sewing machine, just one line. There is underneath. And then I placed one butterfly here. The postcard for that butterfly blues collection here. And here I placed the notes and secured it with those uh, brats. And from the opposite side, I just tape, uh, taped that medical tape over it, you know, to secure those ends. And I think as a last one, what I'm going to do right now, uh, I'm going to create kind of small clusters, which I will use, uh, 
which I will use as, as a pockets. So I'm gonna put here and there a small piece of washi tape, then uh, I will make small layers with these, kind of mix it all together. So these small blue rectangles are from Butterfly Blue Collection. They were uh, next to those small postcards, which I already used in that mini journal. So now I'm gonna use these to make a layers, clusters, little clusters. So maybe that one. Right here, and piece of lace on it. You know, beauty of handmade journal is in those layers that when you buy the journal in the shop, it's mostly everything printed down. You can have their beautiful images but not too often are there also things you can touch and feel so beauty of the handmade journals is exactly in that that you can touch the texture and it's so interesting you know to feel different types of these laces and maybe buttons and stuff like that Oh, didn't I make it too wide? I think I did. <laughs> okay. Well, ah, here. Okay, you're gonna be peeking out. That's okay. And I would like to have something here. I think some button. So this one will be here. Yeah. Here I can go that far. All right. So I do have my few little embellishments done i put here and there some uh, buttons and this one is somewhere else so i'm gonna place them as i feel they should go where is my glue here is my glue so i'm gonna place these clusters as a pockets on my pages and this is our little book, uh, how it looks like when it's filled, and I'm gonna show you how I put those pockets. Uh, I add here and there some of these small uh, embellishments, so it does have writing pages, quite lots of them I have to say, for this small journal and quite fast journal. So it does opening here, pocket here and also a pocket here it does have also a pocket here because you know that first one so i add their um tags here and there and also the envelopes i decorated into some of these pockets so we do have pocket here and tag here opening and tag here opening and i forgot to put something into this middle pocket right here i will have to add there something so opening and pocket here and again tuck on the top another pocket here and envelope on the top in that pocket writing pages and I think <laughs> I 
Haven't I said that thing? But I think I said myself to check it out. <laughs> and I did sew it upside down. <laughs> yeah, that, that's beauty of the handmade journal. <laughs> you will have there some surprises. And we do have opening here and pocket behind. And this is kind of like back cover. And we do have there that tuck and opening opening there is that another envelope i decorated this one pages for writing and i haven't noticed you and pocket here here i use the butterfly to kind of extend that small tag and again some button for decorating the tag on the top tag here Envelope, writing pages, some openings, handmade paper clips, by the way. I made them, I think it, it is last year when I made them actually. And pocket here. So that's my little mini. <laughs> little mini. That's my small, small notepad or no notebook or booklet or accordion book. And we do have this lace here on the bottom. I didn't make any closure. I was thinking if I will make some closure, but then I don't know. I think I like it this way that it can be stand up. Maybe on the shelf this way. So you will see front and the back of the cover and you can see all these tags or it can be there this way. If you will place there maybe maybe some small pictures so you can place it somewhere as a decoration this way so it's quite quite a funny pro project this one it's nothing new accordion books are here for many many years and they are so fun to make and i hope uh, using the envelopes it's good idea uh, so that's all sharing from me all links will be down below uh, i will go to check out uh, one more time amity bloom uh, shop if she does have the washi tapes i will put the link down below if there is no link um, probably it, all washi tapes are sold out for now so just check out uh, her shop here and there maybe maybe they they will be back soon because i know they were sold very fast so that was all sharing from me i hope you found some inspiration i hope you did enjoy this tutorial thank you so so much for stopping by today and spending your time with me one more time, thank you to all of you who uh, get the paper pad uh, I showed in in those previous in the previous video. Actually, uh, thank you so much for your support. That was amazing. And uh, if there will be somebody else who will want to paper pad, uh, because of these amazing guys, I was able to order another bunch of them. So there will be another small bunch of these paper pads so it will be listed soon it's not <laughs> it's not ready yet but i did order that ordered them already so that's all my sharing thank you so much one again have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye